Okay, you guys, so I just got off the phone with the client for the Zoom interview and we had to cancel because something came up, ah, but it's okay because there's still plenty of other content that we are working on. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get ahead for next week. All right, so basically here, this is where my office is and um, you know, just, I got to start off with answering emails and filling out paperwork. Um, later on, I'll explain what the paperwork is for, but basically we have what's called reservation forms and or work orders. And we don't consider anything confirmed that we're going to interview unless we have that documentation. And that usually comes from the sales department. So, you know, I got to look at it and fill out my parts and make sure that everything is filled out correctly. Um, basically, it's like to confirm shoots. It has the address, the meeting location, the, you know, social media handles, the websites, the talking points, the marketing consultant or advertising executive that's handling that client or that account, um, and just a bunch of other information that I need for the interview. So, Basically, once um, one of the sales department members sends it over to the general sales manager, then she'll look it over. And if the budget and the, I guess, segment overall <laughs> is approved, then she'll go ahead and send it to me. And then I print it out for my records. I also save a digital copy. And then I look over it to make sure that all the columns and everything are filled out correctly. If they're not, I'll send it back and ask for it to be filled out correctly and or ask for revisions. Um, usually on the forms, they do say um, when they expect the segment to air and I'll look at my air date calendar and see yeah yeah that's possible or no this is not possible or your first air date is possible but the other two aren't and then ask them maybe to give me give me back some um, you know more options on when they want it to air and then I'll go back again and check and see if it's possible um, we do record our show one week in advance so um, you know we're <laughs> we're always ahead of schedule um as far as booking i mean i book like a month and a half in advance it's like even more so um i do have to make sure that we can air on time um if it's something that's super time sensitive that they just like rec like that they just booked for us that has to be aired at the end of the month let's just say like um a segment for like breast cancer awareness and it has to air like in october but like October is already ending or something then I need to rearrange the plans that I have for the show and kind of like fit that into the schedule sometimes it's hard though because some of the shows you know I say all right see you Monday or see you Tuesday or tomorrow you know we're gonna have blah blah, blah. all right see you Wednesday like you know I have to be careful with what I'm saying to see if I can rearrange the shows um or I talk about like weekend plans or like community events that are happening that week so then I can't necessarily rearrange a show you know so you know it, it's just a, a matter of keeping track of what's on the show and, and keeping up um with you know when the shows are airing and stuff like that um lately I've been just trying to say like next time see you next time see you next time next time on the show next time on Valley Board Be That you know stuff like that um just so that it can make it a little bit easier for me if I do need to rearrange something because of a last minute sales shoot um but you know generally that's kind of just what's going on um, but once I have the forms filled out you know I kind of just take a look at some emails again they're always coming through um we have a news email account and then a lot of uh, story pitches and ideas come from there um, and then also I, I have like you know members of other departments emailing me about things and um, my photographer emailing me about things as well um, and then usually I'll send emails with segment information segment deadlines you know when I need them to be edited by how long each segment needs to be because obviously in TV every second counts so if I say this segment needs to be two minutes then it literally cannot be like even one second over or two minutes so you know just finalizing those details making sure everything's okay I do switch back and forth from my iPad to my personal phone to my work phone to my laptop to my desktop computer um, and they asked me if I needed a second monitor I was like nah I'm pretty simple so um, that's pretty much it you know just kind of going forward with that before we do the shoots and you know those things Alright you guys, so right now I'm just sending some emails and some forms that we need. We have these things called work orders um, and essentially what they are is like forms uh, with the client information for the paid packages that we're going to be filming. Um, so it's just generic information that says stuff like 
Um, complete the form each segment for each segment no later than two weeks prior to the shoot date. Um, clients not considered confirmed or booked until we get the segment. Um, the lifestyle host will contact um, them directly within three to four business days from receiving the form um, so they can um, so that I can book the shoot, t date, time, location, all that stuff, number of interviewees, that kind of stuff, number of segments to be shot. Segments canceled within one week of the result date will schedule in a particular feed that could be waived possibly by our general sales manager. Um, names must be spelled correctly because they're going to be copied directly from what is on the form. Um, a guest attire, aka interviewees, has to be um, appropriate. No third party brands, names, or logos, stuff like that. Same stuff that I have to follow, actually. Um, any profanity slips are subject to legal action, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, company full name, uh, main contact persons I can know who I'm talking to or interviewing or meeting, um, their information, their title, phone number, email, a second contact person in case something happens that I need to contact someone else. Um, in their place, description of the business, um, any B-roll that is approved that way we can utilize within the segment um, for on-air purposes, um, set in high quality format along with the logo, um, that way we can tell viewers in the tag information. If you'd like more information on this client, feel free to visit them at website, phone, social, all that stuff. Um, requested air dates, that way we know what our timeline is for post-production, um, how many times it'll air, any reruns, um, Stuff like that any reoccurring segments sometimes we have segments that that we air and film once every month or so on and so forth um so yeah how many segments that they bought um whether the segment will be produced in studio pre-taped in studio live on air on location pre-taped on location live on air a re-air simply re-air or other i'm not really sure what other would entail maybe a facebook live or a zoom interview or a facebook live zoom interview something like that um just any other sort of production way um and then of course the guest speakers um information like we said again exactly that is supposed to appear on screen um the questions to be asked on camera that way we make sure that we're covering the exact content that they want for the segment that way they they're presenting to the viewer exactly what they want to so that's that um and then the tag information all that stuff we already went over morning George Good morning. Um, since I don't have a teleprompter for the zoom interviews um, I just write my notes down on a piece of paper and then just kind of like place them like here and then I can see the webcam I have my green screen behind me and it's a good it's a nice little setup so that's good on oh, my sticky notes fell off ah, there we go okay there we go I have the shoot address programmed into my work phone already and then I have my personal phone charging that way we can know exactly where we're going to be headed when it is time to leave at approximately 9 a.m. Um, it's 8 13 so we still have some time. A little bit of white out because I messed up on the form. Make sure this is sent already. One, two, perfect. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and log off of here. Um, I had to scan a form, uh, reservation form work order with my phone and then email to myself. Okay, let's see. Get No, no, I'm I'm vlogging. <laughs> I don't know what you did. What did you do? <laughs> oh, all right so once we're done with the office work and producing and editing and you know emails and stuff like that then we prep the unit the vehicle the work unit and we head to our first shoot of the day um in this case i have a fill-in photographer working with me um you know whenever my regular photographer is you know um at the doctor or out or you know working on something else then we'll we'll um work with other members of the team um and you know here we're just setting up this is a paid shoot so it did go through the sales department um and uh we're just kind of setting up so he'll he'll put everything together um for me and and just kind of make sure that the, the guest is mic'd up we have good audio we have good video stuff like that and then um from there I will, um, you know, kind of prep the guest, make sure that they know what they're going to be asked on camera as an interviewee, um, make sure that they are standing in a good location. Um, if, oh, that's our marketing consultant um, next to me. Um, 
but yeah so if it's a paid segment then we can show as many logos as many like marketing signatures and things like that on camera no issue but if it's not paid then you know we try to hold back on that because the whole point of the sales show a morning show is to make the station money so we want people to pay to be on the show and so that's kind of how we do that um so there i'm kind of just talking to them prepping them and then um once everything is good to go um we take behind the scenes photos that way we can post on social media and stuff like that and then we get started um with the interview now I stand behind the camera and this is important because we're not live like we used to be with the daytime show. Um, what we're doing here is everything is pre-recorded and, and edited um, and it's just going to be the interviewee with the footage, not going to be like me on camera at all or anything like that. Then once we have the segment all completed and put together or what we call a package, then later <laughs> I'll be in the TV studio standing in the in the you know, like on the set and then I'll like officially introduce the segment and you know, Hey guys, we had a chance to go to the army reserve and we spoke to them about recruitment for this year and blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. Um, so it's basically the way it works. And then, then from there I'll be like, take a look or check it out. And then from there it'll go to the pre-recorded and already edited segment, play that segment, maybe like two, three minutes long. And then it'll hop back to me in the TV station. And then from there I'll say, wow, well, there you have it. If you'd like to, you know, um, join or you want to attend one of their recruiting meetings, then feel free to visit them at, and then I'll give like a website. I'll say, you can also call them at, I'll give like a number. I'll say, and don't forget to follow them on social media. And then I'll say there's social media and you know stuff like that so that's kind of the way we kind of put it all together once like post-production is done and we're actually like on set and the studio and stuff like that um but uh but yeah so that's what we do at the at the sales shoots um and then after the interview of course we do get b-roll or what we call uh, or what we call <laughs> like subsequent footage so we'll go around the office and we'll get you know footage of um, you know, the, the posters, um, their team working, the environment, um, don't forget the microphone. Cause sometimes we, we forget the microphone on the guest and then we're like walking away, excuse me, we're walking away and we're like, Oh my gosh, where's the mic? You know? So we always make sure to get the microphone first and then we'll go get the subsequent footage. Um, we also try to get exteriors, um, of the building so people know what it looks like. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then, well, here when we're getting B-roll, we want to like have footage of like people walking in and being greeted and people waving and like their team typing at a desk or like putting away folders or like flipping through maybe like a, in this case, an army recruitment um, pamphlet or something like that. So we do kind of do a little bit of acting and directing like, hey, okay, you stand there. And then when I say, okay, go, then you're going to wave at me or you're going to smile or you're going to walk by and then shake hands or, you know, so it's, it's kind of, you know, a little bit staged. Um, well, we do have to be careful because there are real clients coming in <laughs> during that time. Um, but yeah, like I said, so before we leave, we do go outside and get an exterior of the building so that people know what it looks like. Um, and, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, prep and get any other shots that we think may, we may need. Um, talk to the marketing consultant outside, the clients inside. So we just make sure we got everything we need, verify air dates, all that good stuff. And then I let them know that usually it takes me about a week and a half to send them the segment um, within the show. And then, of course, we always have our news team put the segment up on the website. So that's good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, you know, what, what, um, the shoot entails. Then we head back to the station and the unit. And then from there, we kind of just take care of other stuff that we have going on in the office or, you know, pretty much anywhere else, um, or in the studio and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I am back in the office at the TV station and I am now logging onto my computer to see what emails came in. While it's out at the shoot. Let's see. The lifestyle calendar is up and running. These are the packages I plan on airing. Of course, subject to change. If you have any questions, please contact me. Perfect. How do you play music in the background throughout the show? I've been looking through a lot of lifestyle shows and they tend to do the same. You may need to share the calendar with me again because it says I can't open it. Okay, just some stuff about the calendar that we have. 
we have one calendar that has like all the segments that we're going to be airing on the show and then the other calendar has um all the shoots that we have so that's that and what else Get all the stuff that I need. It's just a busy morning. My hands, my hands are really dry because I just washed them. You know, washing your hands many times because of COVID and stuff like that. So gotta be careful there. Let me get my cream. Our papers now. A client called me on the road in this moment and she was wondering for an update on her segment. I'm talking to the camera. Oh, what? What's up? I've been going around and talking to everybody, okay. everybody brings. Mm -hmm. Trying to come up with like uh, a schedule. Mm -hmm. Not really a schedule, but uh, mm -hmm. So like, like I know you had mentioned this the other day, like it would be cool if we just did this every day, right? So these are some of the things that were tossed my way. For a zoom interview that I'm gonna have in a moment. What that entails is cleaning up my purse and laptop bag and all that stuff first because this is in the line of sight of my webcam and so I gotta make sure that's all tied up. I just kind of put it behind my desk and stuff. New contact lenses, yay! Because I tried wearing my glasses like to be on air, um, but even with non-glare um, lenses, like you, there was still a glare. And I don't mean like others, like for me to see. It was like for me to see as well as like others to see. Especially when I'm in the TV studio and like there's heavy lighting, it just didn't really work out. So now I have my new contacts. I have some in right now. Um, so that way I can read the teleprompter better with these um, and just take care of that stuff. So this is all cleaned up. Actually, let me tell you something. So, this basket, super sweet. Um, a viewer dropped it off for me at the TV station. Don't know who. It, there was no card, no letter, anonymous viewer. And what I think is really great is that it like totally carries everything that is like me. Like I love reading self-help books. There are three here that I've actually been wanting to read. There's a prayer on it, and that exact quote that's on the prayer, the cross is like in my room, like on my door, because I love it that much. Like this candle, I love a candle. It's just a, a bookmark and a bookmark. Like it just, it's so me. Like whoever, whoever gave me this gift, I don't know who it is. I haven't like, I just, I don't know, but it's so thoughtful and so me. Like they must have known me or something. Maybe they follow me and that's why they like know like what I'm into and stuff like that. I'm not sure, but cool. I haven't even posted that yet, so. Um, Alright, so I have my planner here. Look at how much writing I have. Yeah, I love my planner. I'm not really like a digital person, like when it comes to like my planner and my agenda, stuff like that. I just prefer like a hard, hard paper, hard copy notebook. I just feel like it's easier to manage, easier to work with. I don't know. Don't need my face mask for the zoom interview because i'm in the office by myself don't need a face mask because i'm in the office by myself 
what I do need is my little sign here that I wrote with a sharpie. Um, filming Zoom interviews, please do not enter. Thank you. It's 1.30, so I'll put that up in a little bit. Um, now we have our webcam set up. We're gonna have to like kind of move it so I can be seen better. And then we'll go down. Oh, where did my webcam thing go? Okay, we gotta, we gotta go down. Find where the webcam uh, wire is. Let's do that. Where is it? Where is the webcam wire? I thought it was here. Okay. Now we're gonna have to, now we're gonna have to find it. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. We're following it. Then you put it in the other side, it still doesn't work, but then you put it in the way you first had it and then it works. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. It's like playing with it. Okay. Is that? Let's put this on the door. Like I said, we don't have a teleprompter um, when we're filming the interview because we're just in the office with the webcam and the green screen. Take the wall behind me, whatever. So I wrote down my notes here. My intro, the questions, the outro, and the topic. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Okay, it's 
I forgot that I have my jacket. And then my chair. On my chair. Move to the side. Yeah, you can't see them there. Okay, I already started the the zoom meeting. Okay you guys, so I just got off the phone with the client for the Zoom interview and we had to cancel because I'm thinking about that. But it's okay because there's still plenty of other content that we are working on. Yeah. So, now I'm going to get ahead for the next week.